we go on to a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for Brad Sherwood, who will pretend to be appearing on a tacky TV show, which shouldn't be too difficult tonight, no, but one of those dating programmes, and he has to pick out uh, one of the other three as a possible date. Uh, but the others have each been given a strange character to portray, and Brad, in addition to making his choice, has to decide what character has been given to each of the other performers. Uh, we know what it is because it will be written up on the screen, so take it away, Brad. Bachelor number one. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done for a lady? It's, uh, I'm going to change the engine in a Ford Capri. <laughs> that was fantastic. Fancy a pint? Mmm, tell romantique. Yeah. Bachelor number two, describe a fantasy date for you and me. A fantasy date? Let's see, would that be a date where there wouldn't be any pantyhose hanging in the bathroom where someone could walk into it in the middle of the night and think of some big spider web and scream? Maybe that would be a fantasy. Maybe cleaning up after yourself every once in a while would be a fantasy. I think Bachelor 2 wasn't held enough as a child. Bachelor number 3. What? Woo me! Woo me! <laughs> Woo you? Woo you? You gotta get me out of here, man. <laughs> Just pick me and get me out of here. I gotta breathe fresh air. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see her again. <gasps> I gotta get out of here. You gotta smoke? <laughs> I don't smoke. Bachelor number one. Okay. What is your idea of true love? My idea of true love. He's loving them so much, I'd have them shot. <laughs> Again, Kel Romantique. Yeah. Bachelor number two, at the risk of offending you, because you're a bastard. <laughs> How would you propose to me? Hmm? How would I propose? Well, let me think. I clear the filth on my floor of the flat. Bend down, then hope you could talk in a lower register because it's burning my ears. <laughs> Do go on, you Sam, just like the anchor. <laughs> Sorry! That's one of three! Yeah. Same question! What was it? I don't remember. I can't remember. <laughs> Have you heard from the governor? <laughs> I'd make you uh, carve your ring out of soap, and then we'd uh, honeymoon in a tunnel. Just get me out of here. It slip something in a cake, would you? Come on, Brad. Some of these. I must can't be sleep on my stomach anymore. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> well, bachelor number one yes. is, uh, is, uh, is an assassin or a car mechanic. Yeah, he's a member of the cast of EastEnders, so oh, that's right. uh, that's close enough. Same Half thing. points for that. Bachelor number two is uh, a very bitter woman hater. Yeah. Possibly Richard Dreyfus from uh, The Goodbye Girl. Possibly your flatmate, yes. Uh, uh, so you're, you're nearly there with that one. Oh, well, close. <laughs> and uh, Ryan is a uh, prisoner of war, maybe. Prisoner, prison. stir crazy prisoner. Well done. Well, 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 I think there are some very good performances there. How Brad Show was supposed to know the plot of EastEnders, having just arrived at the weekend, I don't know. So